And uh, welcome to my co-commentator uh, for this tournament, David McFall. Another exciting day of judo today. And we have, we're going to start out here with a 90 kilogram uh, semi-final between two Japanese competitors. Who do we have, Sheldon? Oh, I was going to leave that up to you, pal. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's all yours. Go ahead. Okay, we have uh, Nishiyama Masashi, and he's going up against uh, Shimawada Shohei. Now, who was it that had um, a close call? Was it Nishiyama? Yeah, Nishiyama, Nishiyama and, uh, against Buffet, didn't he? You only, that's you, right. And he caught him in the last, the last couple of seconds. And there was uh, a, a time when the um, scoreboard operator thought it was going to go the other way. Luckily, the... Uh, and, you know, this matchup reminded me a lot of the Nakaya Ono matchup where we had a veteran versus someone kind of new and fresh coming out. So yeah. we'll have yeah. to see... Uh, whether Nishiyama can hold up against uh, uh, Shimawada. He almost took a tumble in the quarterfinal, but uh, that's the past now. Let's uh, settle back and see what happens in the present. Here we are with this uh, first semi final. And Nishiyama already getting, of course, he's getting the inside grip. Looks a little bit shorter, doesn't he? Whether whether that ever comes into it, you know, I just once in a while we'll see something and think, wow. Well, look at Shimoya. Looks like he's trying to come over the top here, so he's going to take advantage of that uh, that height differential between the two. One medalist from this summer's Olympic Games. Oh, oh, a nice Ochi attempt right there. The Japanese were trying to put a stop to uh, a possible three in a row for the Georgians in this weight category under 90 kilos. Well, the Georgians didn't win it, but unfortunately for the Japanese, nor did they. And Nishiyama came in with an Ochi got of, of his own right there. And Shimawada's coming across here looking for Haragoshi in. Bit of a counter there by Nishiyama. Just held on at the end. He didn't throw the left leg right behind and attempt that Tanio Toshi. Just had to hold on there and block it. That was enough. The next stage is trying to counter it. Yeah, yeah, we we yeah. Both have shown that Ochi, so I'm wondering if we're going to see an Ochi. Oh, yes! Oh. He's only going to score Yuko there, I think. Well, I might have given Wazari. I was going to say. The landing was... Um, on his side, and he continued to pull and bring him. Um, you're not going to see it from this angle. More of a haragoshi. Not able yet to rotate that upper body as much as he would like. Zari is on the board. 320 left to go. Nice big effort there from um, Nishiyama. Yeah. Was saying about the Georgians quickly that they didn't win the 90 kilo category for a third time in a row. They'd won it with um, Zvia Dowry and then Sirakidzi. But uh, Lipatiliani couldn't quite manage it. They did win a title, but it was under 66 kilos. Shavdatu Ashvili got that. A Kosoto Gari move there by uh, Shimawara. Just before that big Harayoshi, I was saying, I was wondering if they were going to try to pull that uh, Ochigari Uchimata combination since both have shown Ochigari thus far. Nishiyama, to me, looks the most likely to be able to break that uh, stranglehold. That um, the others <laughs> have got on this category. The Japanese really want to uh, make sure that they're not left out of any category and even though he, he took a bronze medal um, in London they, they want to get to the number one spot and if they change from time to time and this year they don't get the 66s but they get the 73s that they haven't had before or something uh, you know something like that they, they're not going to mind but they won't want to be shut out completely for um, you know year after year well I think the harder weight class that they seem to be losing is 81, 81. the depth is just too much there well, Kim won it um, in London. Bischoff won it in um, Beijing. 
and Iliadis won it in Athens, so it's it's been a while. <laughs> And we're going to see Iliadis in just a little while here at uh, semifinals for 100 kilos against Rakov, which should be a barn burner. <laughs> a few people waiting for that one. People are lining up to see that particular contest. Time Shimawada is he's a bit tentative. I would fear he'd be attacking a little more. He will be with this last minute coming up. That was an attack there, almost got countered. Which is too far, too far a reach for him to get around there. seconds left to go. You can see um, Shimawada really pressing now. And uh, Nishiyama almost backpedaling. I think Nishiyama is looking for his opportunity for a, for a foot sweep here. He's waiting for, for an attack by uh, Shimawada. Then he's going to just take out that foot. There he was backing up a little bit. Breaking off some grips. Missed. That was sort of desperation stakes, wasn't it, there? Right, right. And it's, it's a shame because he, his judo hasn't been desperate. Not at all. His it judo's been good all day. The situation has become desperate, and uh, as a result of that, it looked a little bit ragged, that attack, but that's not, not a time. time. Well, well blocked. Felt it coming really early on. Never looked in any trouble there. Big spread and just collapsed that. Yep. Looking like a veteran. Yeah. Really well uh, handled there. Got the big score and then went on to uh, control the contest from there. Nishiyama in the final. And uh, that, I think, is a, a really, really good performance from uh, Shimawada. Uh, Shohei yeah, taking um, a bronze medal at a Grand Slam here. And Nishan looks really in the driver's seat for whoever Bozweyav or Lee, who's coming up, is going to face him. He looked very, very controlled. Well, I wouldn't um, write off Bozweyav yet. No, no, not at all. I'm just saying that Nishiyama looked, it looked like the whole the whole game plan came according. I think he... he, he probably is going to have Lee, but I've, I've, I already wrote off Buzz Baev in the